Hey yo there ladies and gentlemen, it's Valen I would like to welcome you back to Dark Souls. Last episode, we ended up slaying the four kings and meeting a new primordial serpent over there. Look, look at him over there, he's just waiting for us. Apparently he is the only one that tells us the truth and I do not even like him enough to know his full name. But that's only because I've only met him once. Though Framped I've met tons of times and he's lied to me like twice. But I think it's time to get our uh, soul hunting and harvesting on their way. But before doing so, I almost forgot to read the first Lord Soul we got. So, where are you at, my Lord Soul? <clears throat> um. Oh, is it? I didn't accidentally turn it in, did I? No, I might be. Over here. Okay, there it is. Bequeath Lord Sard, Lord Soul Shard. Bleh. Soul of the four kings who f who fell to Dark. <clears throat> soul of one of the four kings who fell to Dark. A fragment of a Lord Soul discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Lord Gwyn recognized the foresight of these four great leaders of New Londo and granted them their ranks, the fragments of a great soul. Although this is not a full Lord Soul, it can still be sated. It can still sate the Lord Vessel. Yeah, My reading is atrocious today. Yay, and then we got the very large ember, which allows us to make our, uh... If we have the required materials, we can turn that into the blacksmith and turn our, um... Great Scythe in from plus 15 to plus, or I mean from plus 10 to plus 15, if we have the required material. Very well. Once the vessel is filled with souls, the gate to Gwyn shall open. Seek Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls, then. The gate will open, so that you may kill Gwyn. Yeah, so that we may kill Gwyn. Are you ready? Then, let us return to the Abyss, and trust thine flesh to me. Sure, let's get eaten by a snake again. But yes, that is, you do not have to do that in the order. You can do Seath, and then Isleth in Nito or Nito, Seath, Izalith, so on and so forth. But we, for the sake of convenience, I will be doing those three in that order because it's it's one that I've always felt comfortable with. Alright, good. Now we can light this bonfire. Bonfire is lit. Let's rest. And, you know what? Let's go see what the jerk hold Framped has to say about us meeting our new friend. I'm sure he'll approve. I mean, they're one of a kind. They're practically brothers. I mean, it, it has to happen. It has to. You... Wow, you are still here. There you are. I'll be heading There's nothing. No worries. Wow. <laughs> he, I think he's scared to head down. He's been here forever. We got a Lord Soul. Hey, what's up, asshole? You sorry, fool. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. Oh, and then he leaves us. Um, but you could still jump down here and get to the Lord Vessel real easy. Wow, he just bails. He GTFs. He's like, man, you're a jerk. No, you, sir, good sir, you are the jerk because you would lie to oh, us. I'm so and you don't say anything new. Boo! Alright then, let's go to the blacksmith. See what we can uh, increase with our beautiful, beautiful weapon of, well, scything and reaping. And then we will begin to push ourselves deeper into the catacombs that we did before. Yes, we will be going back, but this time we will be uh, delving deeper, and it's going to be fun, fun, fun on a bun! Yay! Can't you just tell from my excitement? You. Well, I'll be. I'm 
It's a brilliant ember you've got there. Thank you. you. How did you know I call it my ember? Nah. It's a trade. Give me your left arm and I will give you this ember. Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. And then we go into modify this. And walk away. He's going to be like, wait, aren't you going to take my left arm? In due time, good sir. In due time. Yay, now we can make it plus 11 and possibly further beyond and this is to go even further beyond oh no that's that's to repair this is to go even further beyond there we go sorry i probably was really loud right there with that one uh where are you at my scythe there you are 12 14 ha huh. oh really only one titanite slab to make it to 15 huh okay well we are close to it then fantastic Go get yourself. but for right now it is almost at its perfect state it is almost as strong as it will ever be to my knowledge I do not believe you can um I don't think that you can make uh, casual weapons past 15 I don't know if 20 actually exists it may um, and now we head back to the fire link. Whoosh. Off we go. And now we head back to the catacombs. I am not going to make you watch me trek through that again because I'm just going to be plowing through it. So, I will meet you back there. And here we are. We are actually at the deepest bonfire that I found in the catacombs last time. And I figured, since we're going on to a new area, newish area, it's the best time to reverse hollowing. Let's get our humanity back, shall we? And then we will venture deeper than we ever have before. Also, I need to remember, we no longer need this. So let's pop on our... Dude, where are you at? Seal ring of protection. Yes, that sounds good. And the way is not too far, but I thought to start it here because I don't think we've climbed up here. No, we didn't. We missed one switch. Which these switches open up multiple doors and so on and so forth. I think this one lowers the spikes. Yes, that lowers the spikes. So now what you can do is, if you remember that pathway or that walkway, you can actually walk across it and get to here. So, yeah. Pretty neat, pretty useful, but this is what we actually wanted. Well, not skeletons. Get out of here! Yes, one solid reaping. Oh, that range is fantastic. Okay, I believe we are going to descend now. Yes, we are descending. Oh, it didn't lock on. Why you no lock on? There we go. Thank you. Thank you for locking on. All right. We pressed that one. That was the last one we needed to find the Great Scythe. So now... Uh, it's this... It's this jump. I hate this jump. This one has killed me multiple times. Uh, no! I died. Just like that. Uh, I think you're supposed to walk to that instead of roll. Let's try it again. Alright, let's give this another try. This time we're just going to try walking. Oh, cool. Our souls are right here. All right, let's just walk. Yes, just walking does it. All right, let's get this. Green Titanite Shard. Fantastic. And now we have to be careful not to hit the hole down there, which I cannot perfectly see, but I have faith. Yes. All right, good deal. Yeah, you have to make those, uh, those little individual jumps. You just do one big one, you'll more than likely die. Oh, cutscene. Oh my god, it's a boss! 
It's a fat boss. With a Cthulhu beard. Who has a pickaxe? Breaks an opening. Be gone with you. And is not a boss. He'll spoil my focus. Yes, we meet another friendly NPC in the form of undead. Which is, uh, which is quite awkward. Most undeads are going to, well, er, almost everyone here is undead, especially humans. But this one's actually skeletal, bony, undead. Uh, and he is a blacksmith. This is the one that I believe forges your fire weapons and your chaos weapons. What's that thing? Need some smithing? Then produce me some wares. Let's see, what do you have to purchase? Oh, well, if you need homeward bones, this is where you get them. Normal titanite shards, not too great. Standard arrows, which I will only be using a bow and arrow for one section of this game. Hmm, I don't think that we need anything from you. What was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. I come around here for a terrific reason. We're going to kill Lord Nito and take his soul. And now we meet the most frustrating enemy in the game. Where are you at? Come on. There you are. There's multiple of them. These things are annoying. Because they... Uh. Uh. See, they do multiple hits. And they will break your guard. They will break your guard and they'll continue to eat away at you. Poise is actually your worst enemy against these guys. Whew. Get away from the... Oh shit. See right there. What? He, he went through the wall. Oh shit. Reap him. Yes, one solid reaping. Okay. What's in this room? Oh, it's a ladder. I just wish to explore. Um, we will be going back down there and facing off against our bony wheel friends in a bit. Let's see what this has to offer. Hey, look. Jerkwads. That are standing together and just begging to be reaped. Yep, that's a hole. Oh, shit. Whew. I wanted to get this before dropping down. Hey, look, another hole. Oh, and a Black Knight! Black Knight wielding an axe. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Why did you attack? I was holding down block. Ah, oh, fine then. I accept your challenge, good sir. We accept his challenge and we will not falter this time. Alright, it's time to face off against our adversary once more. And he starts out, really? Get, get out of my way. Yeah, see how we give you a chance? Oh shit! Ow. He did a heavy swing. Come here, give me that backside. There we go. That's what we wanted. Spear right up the bum. Right up the bum. Hey, white titanite shard. I believe that is for lightning weapons. I believe. And now we get this. Soul of a proud knight. And that seems to be everything that was there. I believe the other side just drops onto the knight on another angle. So, because they're not that far apart. It wouldn't make sense for them to go to two completely different areas. But knowing me, it probably was. And I need to go there to kill everybody. Ooh. Chase them. Or else they chase us. Free! What are you doing here? Oh shit! Get them both at the same time. Jerkwads. All of them. Just jerks. Alright, I think that's... All of them, I believe. Do not try and run past these guys. Normally most enemies, yeah, you can run past them and dodge them. These guys track you down. They have fantastic tracking. And... It does not matter if one of them's hitting you. If another one finds their way onto your backside, they will continue to just meat grind away your back. 
and it is a horrible experience. I almost died getting here. Ugh. But now we meet the boss of this encounter, the boss of the catacombs. The fantastic, the glorious, the magnificent. Doo -doo -doo. Pinwheel! Pinwheel, we have come to harvest your souls. It is one, if not the strongest soul. We... We will not fall to your power. Oh, shit. I dodged. Oh, I didn't mean dodge. Oh. I was led to believe your soul was the mightiest of them all. But it seems I was proven wrong. But now, more importantly, we have the right of kindling. Normally, um, yes, as it says right there, you may now kindle beyond the normal limit of a bonfire. Normally, you could only do, what was it, 10 to get you 10 Estus flasks. Now, you can get up to 20. So, that's great. That's just great. Pinwheel. Mask of the Father. Let's see what that has to say. And it's weird. I've always gotten the Mask of the Father. I've never gotten anything else. There's the mask of the child, the mask of the mother, and the mask of the father. And I've always gotten the mask of the father. One of the three masks of Pinwheel, the necromancer who stole the power from the grave, your grave lord and reigns over the catacombs. This mask belongs to the valiant father. Slightly raises eh, equipment load. Experience load. I wish it raised experience. It would be a lot more useful then. Yes, um... The lore behind Pinwheel is believed that the father tried to, like, bring back his family. He tried to learn into necromancy, which suggests all these books and everything else. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of knowledge for one guy. And, um, <laughs> yeah, they believe that the father tried to bring his family back and instead what he did, he made an abomination that melted him, his wife, and his son together. Oh, joy. And I just realized I made a fatal error. As you can see, there are these little pathways. And it is very, very, very dark. Yeah. Okay, change of plans. We came here just to get the rite of kindling. We will actually be doing the, uh... The Witch of Easily first. Because there's an item that helps you here. Well, actually, I don't know. Can we do this? Do we have it? Do we have it? Ah, uh, please tell me we do. Uh, I may have squip skipped past it too fast. Dark hand. Ah, oh, we don't have it. Okay. Normally, there's two ways to illuminate this path. Well, three technically. True, you can follow these lights. And that'll guide you. But I don't trust these lights. Because I believe they end up vanishing halfway through. Um, you can get the skull lantern, which is wielded by the pyromancers. Or you can get a helmet that eludes light. Not eludes, illuminates light. Eludes means to, you know what it means. I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I need that helmet apparently. So, we are going to go back into the demon, um, the demon area and find what's there for us. But we did vanquish Pinwheel. We did end up getting the riot kindling, so that's going to help against the next lord we fight so yeah i will meet you guys there but that will conclude it conclude it for today's episode i'm all jumbled up today i don't know why for today's episode i hope you have a wonderful day and a great evening this has been valen see ya